what is going on guys it is Nate and today I'm going to be pretty much cleaning up my uh, computer here um, when I first built it it was pretty clean um, for what it was and then I got new case fans and um, yeah I, I, I didn't do a horrible job but it's definitely not as clean as it should be which over here looks pretty clean for the most part um, for a quick wiring job but we flip it to the other side. I've already taken the side panel off here. Um, as you can see, um, down here is the main um, problem because uh, there's a bunch of just stuff just jumbled up here, which I'm going to try and clean up as best as I can. It's a semi-modular power supply. I honestly don't know why I didn't go fully modular. Um, I guess I just wasn't thinking um, when I built the computer. Um, so I might change that out at some point, but for now, it's okay. It's 80 plus gold, so. Um, not that I really care, but it's it's okay. Um, so all I'm going to be doing right now is just clipping these uh, zip ties that run along all of this, um, being careful not to clip any actual wires, and then um, we're going to go from there. I'll pull uh, the power supply out. Um, I'm probably going to leave the motherboard in. Um, I'm just essentially just cleaning up the wires, but I'm going to take you guys along for the ride. Uh, gives us something to do here. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that and see what happens here. So cue the uh, speed up time lapse, I guess, time lapse you would say, of me undoing all of this stuff. Here we go. All right, so I got the RGB hub um, figured out where everything goes. Let's say to, um, you can hook up to six um, six uh, fans on one controller, which is cool. Um, I don't have any room really for another controller or all, or other fans, or else I'd have this controller probably filled. Um, but yeah, six um, can, uh, six fans per controller, and you can have up to two controllers on one um, uh, one module, I guess you would say. I'm gonna call it a mod this module. Um, so you have one and two. Um, I only have one. So you can essentially have up to 12 fans off one module, which is kind of cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up. These go to the inside where the other fans are. Um, so this used to come up this way right here. I have these. Uh, I'm using the same zip ties as always before the big ones, which I'm not a fan of. Um, for this particular application, but this is all I have. I don't have smaller zip ties, so it is what it is. Um, hopefully, I never really have to do this again unless I rebuild. So, um, we'll go ahead and tighten these up up here. 
I'm gonna go ahead and time lapse this anyway so you guys can kind of get an idea of what I'm doing. Alright guys, I am back. I got it cleaned up for the most part. Um, I'm as, as pretty much as happy as I'm going to get. Um, the case is sufficient, uh, or the, I should say the wiring job is sufficient enough um, for what it is. Um, got everything put down. It's kind of hard to see over in this area. My camera setup obviously isn't um, the best, but it's what I have to work with. Um, so you can't really see much. I'll actually, I'll flip the case around here. I don't know why I didn't do it in the first place. So um, this is pretty much where everything is right here. Um, it looks a little bit better. Um, it just doesn't help that all the wires run um, through here um, in the main case itself uh, before I even start running cables. Um, Cause I have to keep uh, space free to run 24 pin and whatnot as well as this side is the lowest point in the case. It rises up um, right in this area right there. So I like for these controllers, I don't want to uh, officially mount them just in case I want to take them out and swap it to a different case. I still have sticky stuff, um, whatever. I'm just really weird about that stuff. Plus, I don't like residue, sticky residue on these. Uh, again, I'm weird. Um, so I kind of just shoved it over here and it's in its uh, position. It's not really going to go anywhere. Um, the only cables I have dangling out are uh, 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 pin for or the connector for the uh, um, SSD that's in here. And then the two SATA power um, cables. So I have SATA, um, the uh, S yeah, SATA cable for the 
um, SSD and then the two SATA power cables for the two controllers here. Um, and then now I have to put the power supply back in, which I will go ahead and do real quick here. And after that, then we can go ahead and finish routing um, everything that we need to to go in. So I don't have to remove or add any type of cable um, to my power supply. Kind of wish I could remove because then obviously I don't have cabling, but it is what it is. Nothing you can really do about that. I wish the, all, everything was braided, um, but only the 24 pin is, which kind of blows. But again, it is what it is. Go ahead and screw this back in. Uh, there's the other thumb screw. See if I lost that, I'm going to be pissed. Alright, so that is back in. We'll go ahead and just drop my phone on my foot there. There we go. Okay. So, again, not the prettiest completely, but it works good enough for myself. I will be happy with it. I've been wanting to do this for a little bit now, so do as best as I can. So we're gonna route the 24 pin first. Pretty much gonna route it the same way up and through here, which I'm gonna go ahead and connect that first before I route it, just because make it easier for myself to make it easier for myself to just work with I can even get this thing to plug in can't even hardly see in here there we go so there's that let me get the other four pin connector for the 24 total Bada bing, bada boom, that's plugged in. So yeah, it's just gonna route the same way it did, just like so. Um, GPU, CPU, so CPU is gonna route up and through here. Keep it along the line of that, and route it up in the top corner here. Auto there. Camera's getting a little wonky on me from hitting it too much. There. Let me grab a light so I can actually see what I'm doing. Still a little dusty in here, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So there's one. It's eight pin CPU connector instead of a four. I don't think they come, I don't know if they come in six pins, but eight pin up there, so got that in. Awesome. Uh, sucks not having a huge ass desk to work with. I wish I did. I do upstairs, but this is just where all my gaming stuff is. So now EVGA connector, or oh, connector, um, CPU, or GPU connector, and then, then the, uh, SATA power connectors, and then that's it. So, what I'm actually gonna do, so I had these ran, I had these cables ran out of the side. I'm actually gonna run them out of the bottom here. It'll be a little bit nicer, I think, out of the bottom. I personally feel. So, oops. Let me lay this down here. Yeah, so right out of the bottom, I feel like it's nicer. So, eight pin and a six pin. And kind of tuck that back down, like so. Leave a little slack so it's not pulling it itself. I think it's. I think I had it ran to the side before. I don't remember to be honest. Even though I just pulled it apart a few minutes ago. Um, so that's everything. 
uh, that goes to the front. I'm gonna go ahead and start zip tying this stuff right here using the tie down points here, taking advantage of those. Just to keep it in place. So if that's tied down, I'll go ahead and snip these off real quick. I wish I would have pushed this one down a little further, but oh well, it's all right. Should it be okay. So there's that, I'm gonna just tuck that down in there. All right, so got my SATA here. This is the Samsung Evo. I forget which model, 87, 860 Evo, I think. It's an 860 Evo, I don't really remember to be honest, but it works, it boots, that's all I care about. Um, and it, it's fast too, so I shouldn't say that's all I care about. It is, it is a very fast SSD. So go ahead. So get that and get the SATA here. I don't want that, I want this. Get the SATA power and the SATA data cable there plugged in. Go ahead and just drop this drive in right there. that down out of the way. I don't want to stress that cable because it's stressed enough for where that is. I want to, I do want to eventually get a new case um, so I can have some a bigger case. I do like big cases but uh, as well as the hard the hard drive space placement and this is just not the absolute best but it works for what it is. Alright so that's done. Go ahead and do that. And then I'm just gonna tuck these down under like that because again, I don't wanna stress this SATA power cable too much. And same thing with this, I'm just gonna tuck it away. Um, so. That's it right there, guys. Let me go ahead and clip this. That's it right there. It's not the prettiest, but it works. It's better than what it was, I kind of feel. I mean, even though everything's still bunched up here, but I think that's just a case issue um, at that point, just the way the case is made. So anyways, guys, I'm gonna actually see if this goes on a little bit better because it was, uh, yep, it's gonna be the same same issue because all the power cables run in the same spot. Let's see if it'll go on, on go on any easier, but it's it kind of isn't. Back isn't even down in. This doesn't go in very easy. Side to sit, but I can't get both sides to sit at the same at the same time. I don't have enough force for both of my hands to. Yeah, see the whole sides, the whole side to sit. There we go. Yeah, that back one be held in with a screw. I'm I'm more than happy with that. A lot better than what it was. It was poking out pretty, pretty bad before. Um, 
So once I put the screw in, it was bulging terribly bad before. So I fixed it. It looks better than what it did. Like I said, uh, if you guys know a place to get some long thumb screws for the side panel, please comment down below with the link um, and let me know because I would like to order some for this case, regardless if I swap cases or not. It'd be something nice to have, make it look a little better if I ever went to sell it or built another, another PC or do whatever I did. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's it. It looks quite a bit better. One more zip tie right here with these cables because this cable's just kind of flopping a little bit. Other than that, it's pretty much uh, pretty much a done deal at this point. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. I know it wasn't a super great video, but it was something. It was a video to post. Um, so that's it. Again, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Hope you guys like the video. I will see you guys in the next one.